Hey, this is Dr. Ol from Science Buddies. In today's experiment, we will test which regions of different plants can regenerate more than others. Have you ever picked up a flower and tried to keep it alive in a cup of water at home? How long does it usually last? Do some last longer than others? To perform this experiment, you will need a plant or two to test your hypothesis. You can either pick up these plants from the grocery store or use plants you already have at home. Before you start your experiment, make sure to hypothesize what regions of your plant will have the most regenerative capacity. Fill each cup with water. Next, pick out four similar looking plants of the same type to determine which part of the plant has the highest and lowest ability to regenerate. Cut each shoot at a different distance from the roots of the plant to test your hypothesis. To keep track of the regrowth of the plant, measure and mark the initial cut site with a permanent marker. Repeat this for each condition. For our experiment, we tested 0, 2, 4, and 6 inches from the roots. This experiment will tell us at what specific location above the roots has the highest regeneration capacity. Measure the growth of each shoot daily and record your findings in your lab notebook. If the plant is able to regenerate, the longer you run the experiment, the more growth you should see. However, not all plants are able to regenerate. As an alternative to our previous experiment, we could measure the regenerative capacity of a single leaf of a common household plant, such as the aloe plant. We can do this by cutting the leaf into a top, middle, and bottom portion and see if it regrows roots or regrows from the shoot. Similarly, we can test the regenerative capacity of other plants, such as a basil plant, by cutting it into a top half and a bottom half, or you could even cut it into multiple segments. Make sure to keep your plants well watered during the experiment. Don't forget to measure and observe your plants daily for new growth. For more information on how to do this experiment for yourself, use the link in this video's description for more details. If you're interested in trying out other science experiments like this, visit sciencebuddies.org. Thank you for watching and see you next time.